Last month's riots were a sign of moral collapse, according to David Cameron. The PM told the BBC this morning that those responsible need to be shown some tough love. But in Nottingham, there's a different approach. There, young people have been invited to put officials on the spot to talk about the causes of the troubles and to question the opportunities available to teenagers and young adults. Simon Hare has this report. Rhetoric was replaced with rap in Nottingham's council chamber today. Young people aged from 13 to 25 came to question major decision makers and make their voice heard in the debate about what caused the riots. There's not a lot for people to do. Um, people are happy, they're not being listened to. Um, it's, it's like a number of things that have come together. These people, I think, that I saw in the riots are people that clearly felt powerless before, otherwise they wouldn't have grabbed onto five minutes of power in such a negative way. Yeah, I got quite a few messages on Facebook being invited down to it, and those people are still walking around free on the street that sent the messages back. I was in town with my friend just near Victoria Santo, and I'd shut my friend's hand and I'd been accused of trying to sell him some drugs. If you don't know about grime and hip-hop and stuff that they do, you ain't going to get access. So I Martin Glynn is a criminologist from Nottingham who's worked with some of the world's toughest gangs. Listen to the voices of these young people. Whether they're right or wrong, that's not the issue. The issue is we have to give voice to those who are most affected. If you've got a problem with what they're wearing, why are you letting the shop sell it? The Prime Minister today repeated his view that last month's riots were pure criminality. But this debate has heard that many people in Nottingham believe that cuts in education and youth services and a sense of social inequality also played a role. We're hoping that decision makers will make pledges as a result of today's event, that they'll promise um, to make even a small change in relation to how they work with or involve young people in the decisions that are made. Simon Hare, East Midlands Today, Nottingham. In other news this evening, a